what is repurposing and why is it so important for your short form video. Throughout this video, I'm gonna jump into and talk to you about why repurposing is so important and how it'll help your accounts grow, but will also give you a backup plan in case something ever happens to one of the platform. Now, before we go any further, we should probably confront the elephant in the room, and that is, is TikTok being banned? In the United States, there's rumors of them actually banning TikTok for everybody. Now, so far, uh, only government officials in some states have actually been banned from using the app. As of right now, the public still has access to this app. Now, whether or not it'll actually come to fruition is still up in the air because in the past it has been talked about that it will be banned, but it has not yet happened. So what can you do in the meantime? Right now, we still recommend posting on TikTok as much as you can, taking advantage of the early adoption program. But with that being said, you should still be preparing for if TikTok does get banned. So throughout this video, I'm gonna cover a couple different ways on how we can actually prepare for TikTok being banned so that your content is never lost and is always ready to be used across different platforms. So if you want more information on how to capitalize on short form video and the best strategy and tips to make your videos get more views, your accounts to grow, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us. We are Ben and Carson. We specialize in, in we specialize <laughs> in short form video um, across the, pl the platform. We started out with TikTok as our passion, but have really moved and dove into all things short form video. So if you want to follow us on TikTok, that is our handle right there at Scooter Social. And literally every single day we release probably two to three like trainings or hacks that you can implement right away into your strategy, as well as we release a weekly training on our YouTube channel that you can really deep dive in if you want to get even, I guess, more into the nitty gritty of growing your accounts or your clients' accounts. habit of setting up these systems so that all the content that you work hard at creating, you always have access to. So you can do that automatically through repurpose.io. If you're repurposing your content and downloading it um, without a watermark, you still have the opportunity to have that content, even if they get banned. So it's not like you're doing it for nothing. Yeah. So if you guys screenshot this page, we give you four different apps that you can use to download your content without watermarks so that you can easily repurpose them. And then we show you all the different areas that you can repurpose your videos too. So what we do is we create our videos on TikTok and then we repurpose them or repost them to our fa personal Facebook reels, our Facebook reels on our business page, our Instagram reels, our YouTube shorts, and like Teresa was talking about the idea pins. So there are so many different areas that you can put your one piece of content and turn it into five or six pieces of content. So now we're just going to show you the impact of posting on all of these different platforms because we're all told to repurpose the videos everywhere, but really is it worth it? So sometimes you can post a video on TikTok and it only gets like 200 views or 30 views or something like that. But then you post it on Instagram or Facebook reels or idea pins or YouTube shorts and the video gets a completely different reach. One of the reasons is there's different audiences living on all of these different platforms. And so these videos react differently on all of the platforms. So this is an example of this video is the same video on all four platforms. We had originally posted it on TikTok and it got 14.2 thousand views. Then we went ahead and posted it, the same video, the same caption, the same hashtags onto Instagram reels, and we got 16,000 views. Then we went ahead and posted it on my personal Facebook reels and it got 861 views. And then we reposted that onto YouTube shorts and it got, well, I can't see under the picture. 1. Yeah. 1.2 thousand views. So overall, do you see how this video, the same video, same caption, same hashtags reacted differently on all, each of these different platforms. And then if you want to even like help with the mindset, when you add up all of these numbers, this video didn't just get 861 views. It got over 30,000 views across all of the platform. That is 30,000 human beings who saw this video. So this is another example. So on TikTok, this video only got 315 views, okay? But then on Instagram Reels, and that is a beautiful screenshot, <laughs> it got over 5,500 views. 
Then we go to Facebook, it, it got 224 views. And then YouTube shorts, it went absolutely viral and we got one view. <laughs> So with that being said, we still got over 6,000 views with these videos, but you can see how this video reacted on the different platforms. And this is a prime example too, where we put a lot of work into a video like we did on TikTok here. And then we get these views and we're like, oh man, this sucks. Like we tried so hard. And then next thing you know, you post it elsewhere and it's like, oh, okay, no, we did do a good job. Yeah. So if you ever need a confidence booster, we highly recommend posting it in multiple places because it will definitely help with that piece of it. This is another example. So on TikTok, and this is funny because it is a TikTok new feature, but on TikTok, this video only got 93 views. On Instagram, it only got 31 views. On Facebook, it only got 60 views, but on YouTube shorts, it got 1.3 thousand views. So even like Ben had just said, when you feel like, okay, I put a lot of work into this video, it's doing nothing, post it across the board and you will feel so much better. And then one last example, Okay, so this one we posted on TikTok and got 589 views, and then we got 1,000 views when we posted on Facebook Reels. So drop in the chat if you can see the importance of repurposing and why it is so important for not only your psyche, but also to get in front of new audiences and your video will react differently on all these platforms. And not to mention too, and going back on what uh, Crystal was saying is that you can put in a lower amount of effort and have a bigger result. Because essentially you're just making one video, but every time you make one video, you actually have five pieces of content. So if you want to learn our inside strategies, our tips, and everything that we do to grow our clients' accounts, then make sure to hit that sub subscribe button. Okay, looking at the light, looking at the bottom left, looking at the red dot, looking at the record sign, looking at the bottom, looking at the leaves to the left of my ear.